Well, we all know not to judge a book by its cover, but it's not hard to figure out something about someone's personality by the hat they choose to wear, whether it's a big hat, a little hat, maybe a fedora or a floppy hat, or perhaps they like to wear beanies, berets, bowlers, or possibly buckets. Well, in a few weeks, you'll have the opportunity to check out all kinds of hats and a heck of a lot of heels. It's all to make sure no one goes hungry. And that's all thanks to the fun Fashionable Hats and Heels event. And I've got Debbie Smith here, a Meals on Wheels Delaware board member, along with Ashley Istanese, a Hats and Heels Committee member. Ladies, welcome to Delmarva Life. Thank you so, so much good for to having you. us. Yeah, Thank, so, you. Uh, Thank you. Recap how you guys came up with this idea. So really what we did was, we, you know, we started to kind of look, you know, post COVID-19, things were looking a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So what we decided to do was come up with a catchy name to actually kind of draw that attention back out, reach back out to our community again, as everybody was starting, starting to get back out there. And so we thought hats and heels. Mm -hmm. And as Ashley and I were conversing earlier, like hats and heels, meals on wheels. Yeah. Hats and heels, meals on wheels. So it has a, a very nice rhyme to it. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about last year's event. What was the impact. So last year's event was just phenomenal. We had a lot of great sponsors on Wyoming Meal, of course, is our major sponsor for the event. And we actually brought in and raised a lot of funds just to make sure that we clarify the Meals on Wheels actually provides those funds for the five organizations that we partner with throughout the state mm -hmm. that are actually doing meal delivery to those seniors in our community that are not able to have so that they can have a warm nice balanced meal and that is so important so important what is the need for meals on wheels like this this year the the need is still phenomenal we saw a, a rapid um, increase during COVID-19, of mm -hmm. course, and that has not stopped. What it has allowed us to do, though, is be more strategic with our planning. And so what we're trying to do is make sure that we are meeting the needs of those senior citizens where they are. And it's not just about being able to provide a meal for them. It's the relationships and bonds that are actually met from those delivery drivers, the persons in the community that volunteer. Mm -hmm. And they just feel they're the lifeline. And sometimes, you know, you, know, you may have a senior citizen they're elated to see someone come to their door just to kind of greet them have the meal for them and then have a small conversation because of course you know it's that emotional intelligence being able to have that impact touching someone and having an impact on their life that's so important all right let's get to the event ashley what can folks expect to see okay uh bring out your best heels <laughs> your best hats and guys don't forget you're invited as well uh, it's your time to shine and show exactly. off. Um, we'll give accolades to the best hats um, and best heels. So we're really excited for that. We have a slew of sponsors who are coming out. Great food, uh, great music from DJ Smooth. <laughs> we're looking forward to it. Sounds like a whole lot of fun. Yep. Yes. And, and you have a, a partnership with Modern Maturity Center. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, I can speak to that. So Modern Maturity Center is actually one of our partners that we partner with. They are actually the um, vehicle by how we actually get the meals delivered mm -hmm. to those um, senior citizens um, in our community. So yes, we um, love them, Modern Maturity. Actually, we partner and stand with them. They're actually in the process of expanding their kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, and we've also been able to help them with that also too and some of the um, funds that have been raised to expand to get more bigger commercial size kitchens, more bigger commercial size ovens um, so that they can actually meet the needs of the seniors um, in the Delaware community. So folks who go to Hats and Heels, can the money that's raised there will go to groups like Modern Maturity? That is exactly and, correct. Mm -hmm. And we had over 6,000 seniors benefit from last year. And if you think about just the state of Delaware, you can't go too far without bumping into a loved one or somebody exactly. you know. Um, even my own grandma had benefited from Meals on Wheels mm. uh, years ago. So this money goes directly back into the community. What a wonderful cause. Yeah. Okay, exactly. so hats and heels from Meals on Wheels. When is it and where? So it's going to be on Friday, September the 20th, yep. and the doors open up for VIPs at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. The doors open up for regular um, um, persons, guests coming in at 6.30. The event ends at nine o'clock. It's actually going to be at um, the... Wild Quail <laughs> uh, Thank you. Golf Club in Camden, Delaware. 
Give me and, Wyoming. It, which is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. venue. have been there before. Yes. Well, we, of course, will have all that information on our website so folks can find out how they can be a VIP or just come as yes. a guest and have some fun and help out with Meals on Wheels. Yes, yes. Ladies, come on out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for coming in and thank, thank you for you all, all you do.